In this video, we're going to take a look at how to do talking animation or dialogue. In addition to animating motion and expressions, we can also create scripts that generate Visim data. So I'm going to go to the animation tab and I'm going to find the create script button. You have several options here and we're going to use the audio file option. And we'll load this wave file called POC. So as soon as it loads, we can go to the timeline, go to the Paladin, click the small arrow, and load Visim. Now if you click the small arrow to the left of the Visim name, you'll see the actual track that we've imported. You can hold down Alt and use the mouse wheel to zoom in on this track. Okay. So if that is the case... Underneath the audio track, you can see all the phonemes that were created. These were generated automatically by the Create Script tool. Okay, so if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans. So let's go to the Content tab and then go to the Animation section and go to Motion Plus Mail. And we'll drag and drop a talking animation. Okay, so if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans, as they are the ones that know what they need, and they are the reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? So I turn this around. There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. Let's open up the timeline window so we can have a better look at all of this. And they are the reason... I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can have a closer inspection of how the mouth is moving. And they are the reason that we do, do here. Now I'm going to adjust the out point and the in point. First I'll move the out point. And now I'll move the in point. So we're just focusing on this one area of dialogue. Now I'm going to go to modify, animation. And I'm going to change the Visim strength to 100. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. Let's try setting this to 20 on the Visim strength. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. Now I'm just going to set this back to 50. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. I think we'll change the facial expression strength here to 120. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. Now let's try a lower expression strength, somewhere around 20. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. Let's change one of the phonemes. I'm going to click on it here, and it's going to open up the lip editor. Now I can select different mouth shapes from the lip editor, and I can adjust the strength of it using the expressiveness slider. Now I'm going to double click on the keyframe in the muscle section here and it will open up the face key window. And we can choose from the drop down from different categories like happy, sad, disgust, fear. And find a facial expression to match our new mouth expression. So I'll go ahead and try angry underscore one. You can adjust it with the expressiveness slider or type in a value. Try 70. Close this window and test it. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. In the timeline here, you're going to see a section called Lip Options. So I'm going to right click and drag. And then I'm going to right click to go to Lip Options. Now let's click on Parts and Smooth and adjust the smoothness of the lips, tongue, and jaw. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. You'll see we have a Lips Option clip on the timeline now. I'm going to click on it and turn on Clip Strength and adjust the strength of our clip. The reason that we do what we do here. Let's take a look at what we have so far with the Unreal Engine. I'll move my in and out points back to cover the entire sequence. Switch cameras. Adjust the view so we can see. And we'll play through the clip. Okay. So if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans, as they are the ones that know what they need. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. 
You do see it, right? So I turn this around. There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. All right, so let's go here and delete this lip option clip. Right click and drag and select the whole sequence. Right click to go to lip options and make some adjustments. I'll lower the smoothing of the lips and increase it on the tongue and jaw. And then I'm going to up the clip strength to 1.5 and hit OK. Now I'll go back to the first frame and we'll try this. Okay, so if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the... I'm going to select the lip options clip and go to clip strength and make adjustments to the tongue, the lips, and the jaw. Hit OK. Go back to the first frame and we'll try that. Okay, so if that is the case then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans. Let's scrub through the timeline here and check everything out. I'm going to click on this muscle keyframe and go in and select the eyebrows and adjust their position a little bit. You do see it, right? So I turn this... And around here, I'll click on this keyframe. Adjust the eyebrows again. What they need. And they are the reason. So I'm just going back and forth and making sure that the facial expressions match the dialogue. What they need. And they are the reason that we do what we do. And one more eyebrow adjustment here. Know what they need. And they are the reason. They are the reason. So let's click on this keyframe here. I'm going to erase the selection, select the outer eyebrows, adjust them. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. Now let's select this keyframe, clear our selection here on the face, select the inner eyebrows, adjust that. Barely. All fairly simple. You do see it, right? So, so I'm just continuing to adjust the eyebrow on different keyframes. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? So I turn the... Let's make one more eyebrow adjustment. Well, you do see it, right? So I turn this around. There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. Now let's go back to our first frame and check it out. Okay, so if that is the case. I'm going to go to this keyframe here on the muscle section and select my eyebrows, lower them, and check it against the other keyframes. At this point, it should be clear that you can get very detailed in your facial animation. So if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with... So if that... Now I'm going to make one final adjustment here on this keyframe. And again, it's going to be to the eyebrows. And I think we should just about have our sequence completed. Okay. So if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans, as they are the ones that know what they need. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? So I turn this around. There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. Okay. So if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans, as they are the ones that know what they need. And they are the reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? 
so why turn this around? There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. Now you have all the information you need to be able to create your own talking characters.